Which tablet is the best? Which educational app should we download? You may have asked questions like these if your little one has a tablet or another electronic gadget on their wish list this year. But a recent report suggests perhaps those aren't the conversations you should be having. Sure, some electronics can be educational, but how early should they really be racking up screen time? It is addictive, we all know mm -hmm. that. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here with recommendations from the doctors. I know, you guys want to get the kids their big thing on their wish list, especially if they've been really good this year, but experts say the younger crew may not be ready for electronics just yet, even if your intentions are to have them be used for educational purposes. In a report titled, Ignore the Flashing Screens, the American Academy of Pediatrics suggests parents step away from the tablets and gadgets debate and stick to the simple toys, especially for children ages five and younger. The report says, research implies that the best toys need not be flashy or expensive or come with an app. The AAP says that total screen time, including TV and computer use, should be less than one hour per day for children two and older. And according to experts, it should be avoided altogether in those younger than 18 to 24 months. So what should you buy the kids instead? Well, experts recommend getting back to the basics. Gravitate toward books, puzzles, blocks, any art-related toys or supplies, or anything you and your child can use to pretend. Experts say any items that promote language and real-life situations are key and recommend physical toys to keep the kids moving. The AAP says you can't go wrong with the classics like tricycles and balls. Now, Dr. Aaliyah Healy, a lead author on the report, says the more researchers know about early brain development, the more they understand the need for play that is based on human interaction and that there's no screen, video game, or app that can replace the relationships built over toys. So if you're still looking for suggestions on what to get the kids this year, healthykids.org put together a web page breaking down the AAP report and some advice on what to look for in an ID deal toy and we have linked to that page in this story on clickorlando.com guys all right thank you brie all i can think about is how between a three and a half and a oh, one and a half year old is so much fighting over sharing i know and if you get them each something you know the same thing then it no longer is interesting right of course <laughs>